and we are live. Yay! Hey! <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god, I'm so excited. How are you? I am wonderful. How are you? <laughs> I'm wonderful too. Yay. I'm just hosting a class for Erika and Graham in Budapest. Yay! Yeah, awesome. Yeah. We had a lot of fun. So uh, welcome, Dan. Thank you so much for saying yes to this live. My pleasure. Thank you for having me. Thank you for <laughs> inviting me to harass people. I mean, invite people to possibilities. <laughs> Thank you. Um, so before we start, because I want to wait for people to just jump on and also for the translator team to find us and um, for the algorithm to kick in. Um, before yes. we start, I would speak a little bit in Hungarian, if you don't mind, and then we can sure. start. Great. So sziasztok mindenki! Üdv nektek itt ezen a live-on, uh, Dr. Dén Hír lesz a vendégem, ahol a lehetőségekről fogunk beszélgetni annak öröméből, hogy Budapestre érkezik. Hogyha esetleg uh, nem tudtok angolul, akkor uh, mindjárt a srácok beteszik ide um, kommentben nektek a Zoom linket, ahol Békési Veronika fogja fordítani ezt a beszélgetést magyarra. Át tudtok oda menni a Zoomra, és akkor tudjátok hallgatni, élvezni a magyar fordítást. Ezen kívül pedig várjuk a kommenteket Dénnel. Szóval köszi, hogy itt vagytok. Thank you, Dane. Oh, my pleasure. Oh, my God. So, um, wow, I don't even know where to start. So, um, you're coming to Budapest with your class. Um, <laughs> choice of possibilities. We are really excited. And I was wondering, because I was talking to people, And they didn't really know what's the difference between foundation and uh, the COP class. And I was wondering if you would have this chat, maybe they would get some sense what they would get if they would choose the class. But before we go there, I, it was so funny. So before this conversation, I went online and I googled you and I find maybe 20 um, links that said possibility, possibilities, possibility, possibility. And I was like, wow. And you have two classes, choice of possibilities, symphony of possibilities. Then your podcast is the explorer of possibility. And then I went to your book, uh, Changing the Word, uh, Being You Changing the Word. And I typed in possibility. And at the first 10 pages, I find this word at least 20 times. Why is that? <laughs> Because we live in a world of possibilities, which it's kind of like possibilities. Functioning from possibilities is kind of like when you were a little kid and you had the freedom to dream about anything you wanted, you know, and where you'd be like, you know, you'd go ask your parents, you say, I want a million dollars. And they're like, you're six. You're never going to get a million dollars. You're like, yeah, but I want a million dollars, you know, because... There wasn't anything you couldn't ask for. There was no such thing as no possibility in your world. And what's funny is for me, I tell people I'm like a big six-year-old with a credit card and a bank account. You know, it's like, I love exploring truly what else is possible. And one of the greatest questions you can ask about anything is what else is possible here? And what else is possible that I never imagined? Because anytime we're willing to function from the question or ask a question in earnest, like actually ask a question, not a conclusion with a question mark attached, what happens is we open up another doorway of possibilities. And most people are so used to living their lives, walking on the same path, thinking those are their only choices. And so this awareness of possibilities is no this is just what you thought had to be your life it doesn't have to be your life at all and for me i want to invite people to dream big and create bigger and that's where the choice of possibilities class begins to invite people to and so most people are walking back and forth on the you know in the line of their life which is the life they were handed by parents and you know, culture and family about every, and what we learn most is everything that's not possible. That's what we're enculturated with from the time we grow up. Oh, that's not possible. Oh, that's not possible. Ease with money. Oh, that's not possible. Liking yourself. Oh, that's not possible. Not being wrong. Not possible. You know, being different in where the world is in total turmoil and havoc and you have total ease. Not possible. I'm like, well, actually it is. I've been living it well for a long time now. And so have a lot of other people. And so 
what when you're walking on the line of your life and not asking questions, you're not opening the door to possibilities. But as soon as you ask a question, like what else is possible? It's like most people are walking back and forth and they've done it for so long. They're like in a rut and there are walls to the left and right, you know, and they're like, oh, I can't see anything else. I can't see anything else. And then you ask a question like what else is possible or how does it get any better than this? Just in just wondering, like what else is possible that I don't know? I mean, it's an infinite universe. You know, we it's like the universe, is a really big place. And here we are in this beautiful little blue marble out here. And we've got billions of light years, which is a distance, by the way, of this universe that is like, dude, you're you're dreaming small, like dream big. And just asking a question like what else is possible or how does it get any better than this? It's like it opens doorways to the left and right of things that you couldn't see because you had such a fixed point of view about the nature of your life, the nature of reality. And because you're so used to validating other people's realities by how you live your life. So most of us have never really explored what choices do I have available that maybe nobody else does. And what if it were okay if I chose those? Because if I choose those and I get happier and I become more of a contribution and I feel like my, my batteries are filled up, then I've got more to contribute to other people. But if I'm trying to live a life that has nothing to do with me, I burn out really fast. And so the choice of possibilities is quite literally that, the awareness that you have choice and the awareness that you have possibilities, but also... We, we do a couple things really wonderfully in this choice of possibilities class. One is we will talk to you about that you have choice and, and give you several, several examples of what choice actually is because most of us have no clue what choice is even. Even though it's one of our fundamental greatest capacities, even though if you look at it, the life you have today is a result of all the choices you made leading up to today. That's why your life looks the way it does. Things you chose. Even if you're like, yeah, but I grew up in a poor family, so I'm poor. I'm like, yeah, you chose. And that's okay. That's not wrong. But if you know that you chose your life leading up to today, then the awareness that can spring from that is, oh, then I can choose to create it differently tomorrow. And that is where the magic of being alive begins. Because when we feel like we're stuck with what we have and we can't change it, when we feel like we're stuck and don't have different choices, that's when our world is not very much fun to wake up in. And we become, we become contracted. We become sad. We become depressed. We become cranky. We don't like other people. We don't like ourselves. We don't like our dog. You know, our dog's like, I love you. And you're like, ah, shut up. I don't love anybody, you know? But when you start to realize that you actually have choice, there's this wonderful element of knowing that goes along with that and knowing that you can create something different. And that's where the possibilities come in. And so people ask, like you said, what's the difference between the COP or the choice of possibilities and the foundation class? Well, the foundation class is about breaking apart the solid foundation that you've built your reality on as though it was your only choice. You know, and we learn to build it solidly like mommy did and daddy and brothers and sisters and all these people who we think must have a better answer than we do. And so foundation starts breaking that apart. Well, the way we create access is by the, the reason we have the prerequisites that we do for each class is because we want at least a minimum starting level that everybody can take off from into possibilities. And once you've broken that foundation or start to break that foundation that makes you believe that life has to be limited, that makes you believe that you are this thing called you and that's a solid you that can't change, and that makes you believe that you don't truly have choice, as that starts to melt now, choices start to come into your awareness, but you're like, uh, now that I got it, what do I do with it? You know, And that's where the choice of possibilities comes in. It's looking at all kinds of aspects of choice, but simultaneously, we're clearing the limitations that you uniquely have in your world 
that keep you from choosing, know, that keep you from knowing you have choice, but also that keep you from knowing that there are other possibilities. And one of the things I love most about access is you show up and you choose while you're there and the change occurs. It's, 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 it's not hard work. You know, you got to show up, you know, you got to be willing to have something different. But other than that, what goes on in the class facilitates the space of that. And what you get after that is like, imagine walking through your life right now and seeing all the things that don't really work for you that are not fun. You know, the struggle you have in these different areas, the desires you have for more. And now imagine rather than going, oh, yeah, I'll never change that. Oh, that, oh, that, oh, and it just gets worse and worse and worse. Imagine you looking at every area of your life you'd like to change and knowing if I just put my attention on it, I've now got tools, which is the other thing that you get a lot of in Access Foundation and COP and all the other classes. I now have tools that I can use to apply to specific things that don't work to make them work better. But I also know that if I put my attention in this area, I now know it's actually going to change. And that is a space of being empowered to actually create your life that I would love everybody on the planet to have. Because hmm. I know what it's like to suffer. I know what it's like to hate your life. I was at a place 22 years ago before Access. I was doing all kinds of spiritual stuff, all kinds of metaphysical stuff, all kinds of psychological stuff. I was doing all kinds of money, trying to make money stuff. I, I was doing everything, man. I knew there had to be something else possible. And none of it ever gave me the sense that I know, that I have choice. All of it was about, oh, do this. This is this will work. And it never worked because it wasn't about me finding out what was true for me. And I got to a place where I was like, universe, I'm done. I am tired of waking up unhappy. I'm tired of feeling like a pile of shit in my life. I'm tired of feeling like I can't do what I desire and I don't have the money to create my life and people around me don't get what I'm looking at. I'm done. I'm out of here. You have six months. Either my life changes or I'm out of here. And so I know what that's like. Well, a week later, I came across Access Consciousness and had one session and I went from depressed and suicidal, desiring to die too grateful to be alive in an hour and 15 minutes. Hmm. And it was that moment that I went, okay, if it can change this fast, I'm in. And I never went back to that deep, dark place ever again. I've, I've had ups and downs, of course, we all will. It's just the downs are less, the ups are more, and you keep getting more and more and higher and higher. And it's just, it's like, really? The world can be this way? Holy shit, somebody should have told us. Well, I'm doing my best to invite you, to tell you, to let you know. Yeah, you've got to make the choices. You got to do the work, but but the path is there and it's there right now. Wow. Oh, wow. I, you know, um, um, I um, I met Access six years ago through Andres and Maya. Mm. And um, I was at the same place like you just explained. And... Bit by bit, I could take a foundation and like a bachelor's person, then a foundation, and things changed. And back then, we didn't have a lot of content out there in Hungarian, so I didn't speak any English. So I was like, you know, I I, I want wow. to get this stuff. So I was listening to you, and I learned English. Wow! To you, yeah, that was, <laughs> was that was super cool. I learned That's English awesome. in nine in nine months. It's crazy. Wow. Because, you know, I, 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 when I went to class, I was like, wow, this is, I don't know what this guy is talking about, but I know this. <laughs> I actually do. So I took a foundation and then I took another foundation with Angela. And then I moved to San Francisco. And when I came back, I had no money. I was divorced and uh, I, I couldn't even afford to my rent. And then I saw your class, a COP class in Milan. If you remember that class, that was uh -huh. amazing. And I did not have the money to go. I just knew if I would be there, my life would change. And 
I was talking all of my friends. I'm like, hey, you guys, you know, I, w- I want to go to this class, but I don't have the money. So one friend, she was like, you know, I can I can borrow you some money. And so you can go to class. I'm like, I never did that before. I'm like, but you know what? This feels like to me. What if I just start using the tools that I learned in foundation? So I took the money with 10% interest for three months. I went to Milan. I couldn't remember anything from class, only the first morning when you were talking about um, the golden planet, which conversation is super famous now. And um, six months later, I was looking at my finances and I, I kept um, doing my 10%. And I went to my doc and I realized that every month I doubled my income. And I was thinking, wow. what happened in that summer? And I went back and I was like, oh, the COP class. <laughs> And I couldn't even remember a word. So I started listening to the recordings. And this is what I feel that's so amazing with these classes also that it's not about that three days that you are in class. It starts before, (laughs) as we all know, who went to any classes with you. So it starts before you are in class and then it works on you for a year. It's just, it's just amazing. And um, we are so happy you're coming to Budapest. (laughs) <laughs> Me too. I love what you, everything that you just said, you learned English. <laughs> and here's, here's the, one of the things I love about what you said was your income doubled and you were like, what happened? You know, like, cause you would think that's the, that's the way this all works is it works in a way that your mind can't figure out. And that's also exactly the thing about COP is by the end of the three days, you're just beginning the change that you get from the class. Yeah. What happens is you you now have different choices. Like, like um, I don't know. Like, let's say, imagine you wanted to run across the country, you know, and and you go, okay, well, it's I don't know, it's it's uh, let's say it's a thousand kilometers, right? And so let's say you could make a choice. And so as you start running, you're like, oh, I can only do about uh, five kilometers an hour. And then you're like, oh, but wait a minute, I can change some of my points of view and you make a choice to run 10 kilometers an hour. And, and then this is a terrible example, by the way, I just, I have no brain to put things into words right now. So no some people may need an English translator for my English, but, okay. <laughs> um, but so now you can go 10 kilometers an hour, it like doubles. So you're now going way faster with more ease And then you make more choices and it's like, wow, I'm going hundred kilometers an hour. And before you know it, you're at the target you set and you're able to go a thousand kilometers an hour. You're like, well, running to the other side of the country is, is so little now. Like I want to do more. Like I can run a thousand kilometers an hour. The choices that you made at the beginning were about, I can only run five kilometers an hour. And, and I just want to point out, um, I may be the only person living in the United States that knows what kilometers are. So you're like, anyway. I think so. Yeah. <laughs> you know, but it's like, it's like you, that's the way it is with our lives is like, we make the choices today. It, well, most people aren't even realizing they have choice, but you come, you realize you have choice. You get a lot of tools, but you also get a lot of energetic change that puts you way more present in your life. And you hear other people's stories and you're like, well, if they can do it, I mean, look at this person, if they can do it, I can do it, you know, just kidding. I'm not kidding, but kidding, but sort of kidding. Um, and you realize, oh, okay, so, so all the choices that you've been making are, are based on, okay, I can do this at five kilometers an hour. Okay, what can I have? When you realize you can run a thousand kilometers an hour, which is physically impossible, supposedly, you start to make way different choices because it's not from the same foundation of limitation, the same foundation that you had before. And here you are. And I, I just, I'm so grateful for you inviting me to have this conversation. Thank you. Really. I thank you. And this, what you have chosen, and these were your choices, you know, you could have chosen, no, I'm not going to go to that class. Because a lot of people will make it about the money. And I understand because I used to make everything about the money. And then Gary Douglas, the founder of Access, gave me a question at one point. And I'm like, well, I'll use that. And he said, if this weren't about the money, what would you choose? And I was like, oh, that changes everything. Because I was making my whole life about the money. <laughs> and and I'm not saying 
I'm just saying, ask a question because you could go, if it weren't about the money, what would I choose? And it, you know, you'll either get do it or don't. If it's not about the money, you still have choice to do it or don't, but at least ask the question so you can open the awareness of the possibility. But you had the choice to make it about the money and why as your reason for why you can't. And unfortunately, and by the way, one of the topics we're going to be talking about is money. <laughs> as, so don't come to class. <laughs> yeah, don't come to class and change that shit. No. Because, I mean, I was poor as fuck yeah. when I started Access. And before I started Access, for most a long time, most of my life, you know, I didn't understand money. I didn't get it. And um, that's one of the things I wanted to change. It's one of the reasons I wanted to die because I'm like, I'll never get this. I'll never have the stuff I want because in this world we live in, it requires money to have the stuff you desire. At least a lot of the stuff you desire makes, you know, I ask people, can you change the world more with money or without money? Mm. And um, with, so for those of you that want to change the world, rather than having a pride in poverty and believing that you're superior to those people who have money because you don't have any, which is what I learned from my family. They were like, those people with money aren't happy. And I was like, they couldn't be any less happy than you. <laughs> like, seriously? And, um, and Gary said to me at one point, he said, uh, the purpose of money is to change people's realities. Mm -hmm. And I went, thank you. I now am willing to have it because that is all I ever desired was to change people's realities. And all I saw were a lot of people with a lot of money where it was all about the money. Yeah. And then though, I started meeting people who had a lot of money, who were using it to make people's lives greater. And I'm like, I want to have that. <laughs> and it's, it's a change in perspective that can change everything. One change in perspective can change your entire life. You know, it's so, so cool. I, this is, so this sentence I heard in class, I don't know where, and um, in January, I kind of felt burned out. I was like, I, I got to go. So I left to Ecuador for a month and I arrived to Ecuador and I was like, I need my bars round. So I was searching for someone who speaks English and can give me a bar session. So I find this lady. I went to her house and she was showing me her son's bracelets that he was creating them. And... She was like, you know, this is 20 bucks. I was like, wow, it's kind of expensive for Ecuador, but who cares? And so she was like, you know, she, he, he's making them, he's creating them. It's for sale. And I'm like, oh, I might just take some for my friends back home, but I want to give the money to your son. So the end of the session, she brought her son into the room and I was like, hey, these are really beautiful. Thank you. And I gave the little guy 60 bucks and he was just like, her face lighted up and I realized that moment I changed his life forever because somebody from Europe just showed up in my mom's house. She came here, she paid her money and she gave me money. So it's easy to make money. And I was like, wow, this is what they meant by saying hmm. the money is for changing people's reality. And I was like, wow, wow I, I, I got that energy. It was just... I was like, whoa, that's amazing. That is beautiful. Thank it's you. You're welcome. Oh, so good. And just what you said, it's actually easy. You know, if, and, and this is the thing is, so many of the people that come to Access desire a different world, a world in which we all thrive and have abundance, a world in which war ceases to exist, a world in which the space we live is so so um, inclusive of us as beings and our difference that we don't see ourselves as separate from others. We see ourselves as the drop in the ocean while simultaneously being aware of ourselves as the entire ocean. <laughs> and yet we think we look at the world and it looks so insane. It's like, oh, it's never going to change, but it's already changing dynamically. And we need to realize that, that, if we desire to change the world, maybe that could be an acknowledgement that that's one of our biggest targets. But also, how much are you going to have energy to put into noticing where a child's life can be changed with $60? That's a great investment, by the way. 
Yeah. You know, but but if your world, because what we do is we get so self-focused because we we have so many problems mm -hmm. and we need to handle those from our point of view. We need to handle those before we ever. OK, once I handle all these problems, then I can reach out and contribute to people. But here's what I found is that everything we think is a problem is actually a possibility in disguise. It's a possibility that we haven't let ourselves know that we can choose. It's a possibility we don't see other people choosing. And we see a bunch of people where their entire reality is about their problems and they are more intense. So we tend to align and agree with that intensity rather than realizing when we're us, we have a lot of space. We have a lot of lightness. We have a lot of joy. Like when we go out in nature where it's like, oh my goodness, I could take a nap and laugh all at the same time and it's so beautiful and I feel nurtured by everything. Imagine living in a world where we were nurtured by everything and everyone. That's the world I would like to create. Hmm. But it's only going to occur if we start giving ourselves and recognizing the gift of choice that we have available and the sense of possibilities that makes it fun to be alive. And you put those two together and it's like, not only are these possibilities, like I'm like a little kid in a candy store. There's lots of, there's possibility. There's so many possibilities. I can't even possibly choose them all. So then which of these would I like to choose first? And what you did with that little boy, you truly did change his entire future with $60. <laughs> That's so, so great. Thank you. Yeah, it was, it was really it was really awesome. Like seeing his face, I, I just, and they are in touch with me oh, since then. They are like, <laughs> the lady follows me and we have big classes here in Hungary, you know, like 50 to 80 people in bar classes. And wow. he was amazed. And she was like, how do you do that? I'm like, I, you know, I'm just, I'm, I just want people to know that they can change their life because I did change mine in the past three and a half years because I was a nobody. I felt broken. I was kicked out from the United States. I came back. I had no money for, I don't know, I had $2,000 in my bank account and that was it. And I, it was two days before Christmas and I was sitting in, in, in my friend's house and I was, I was like, I, I don't have anything left, only the tools I learned in foundation. So what if I start using them? And then I changed everything. And I was like, you wow. know, if I could do this, you can do so. And since then, she she's having big classes. Like, it's just amazing to see how, you know, when you inspire people and they, they're willing to choose more and this is how you can change the world. But I think people should go to read your book. It's much better. You explain much more better than I do, but um, it's oh, really amazing. Uh, thank you. And oh, no, 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 we... You explained brilliantly and beautifully. And I, I thank you. You're making me cry because this, this is the world I know is possible. And it takes those of us who have the willingness and the courage to choose it. Because once again, you had the choice not to. You had the choice not to use these tools. And we tend to do that because we think there must be some, you know, if we're associated with it, it can't be that good. But it's like, no, man, you made the choice to use these tools. And I am just so grateful. And one of the other things Gary said to me at one point, he said, if you change one person's reality for the greater, you are a success. So I'd like to thank you because this means we are a success. And <laughs> thank you. Thank you. No, I really, you know, when I, I met, so, so in my whole entire life, I was, different and I, I I I felt like I am I am I am I just I just can't get this and and I tried so hard and and I was like it can't be this and when I met Andras he was like he was the first person and Angela who never made me wrong and I remember I walked into the that was my second foundation with Angela and you know how she's the space all the time and I walked into the room and she's and I wanted to make myself wrong. And because we were, I, I, I think 
we were sitting outside and uh, I don't know, judging people how they look. And we went to class and I was like, she was like, what do you want to change? It's like, oh my God, I'm judging everyone. I want to change this. And she's like, are you sure you're judging them? I'm like, yes, of course. This is what I did last night with my friend. We were sitting outside looking at these people and judging them how they look. She's like, is that true? I'm like, not sure. And, and she asked me the question, is like, is it possible that you are aware that they are walking around, that they look bad? So you, you, you are aware of their judgment. So now you are judging them. And so you can judge yourself for being judgy. I'm like, oh my God. <laughs> don't do this to me. And it was just the whole thing was like, I'm like, I came here. I kind of want you to judge me, but you don't do that to me. Right. And it's just these people give, give the sense back to me that I'm not wrong. And, and I felt wrong in my whole entire life before that. And, and, and even after that, all the class, because not, I chose to be a CF and I'm super, I, I'm just so happy, happy with that. I'm, I'm going to cry now. And, and, you know, it's just, is it, I think everyone should know that the tools are exist and how lucky we are. You're coming to Budapest for the third time, I guess. That's the third time, right? Like a money class, ESB, and now this class. Yeah. yeah. I've been to all of them. I love them. Um, Thank you. Yeah. And, and so, yeah, so happy for you to come to Budapest. And it's so cool. I think, um, I think if you guys, you were wondering and thinking about coming or not, if you are on the fence, Hum. <laughs> if you want your life to change no 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 let's let's motivate them appropriately don't come <laughs> yes, do not so do it you can't you can't show up <laughs> oh, yeah, now so what happened in your world when i said that when she's like come you're like oh that's okay you know yeah. but when i said you can't you're like fuck you i will too <laughs> so if you ever want to motivate yourself just say have somebody say to you you can't do it Oh, you will prove them wrong. So you can't come. I won't yeah. let you. So there. <laughs> well, thank you, Dane. Oh. It was a really amazing conversation. Thank you. Oh, Nicolette, thank you. It's thank one you. thing, you know, it's like I am exploring all the time to the best of my ability. Like what's next? What else is possible? That's a question I live my life from all the time. And I am so grateful for what I see show up. But uh, so grateful for what I see show up and, and sense so much more possible that I'm like, okay, what's it going to take for this? But the greatest gift is to have somebody take these tools and these awarenesses and make them their own and explore in their own way and be this massive, beautiful contribution to other people, this acknowledgement to people that they're not wrong, this mm -hmm. invitation that, hey, you can do it too. I cannot thank you enough. And I got to say, my favorite days are where I start with tears of gratitude or laughter of gratitude. And and thank you, because this is going to be so far. This is my favorite day so far. So thank you. Oh, wow. Thank you. <laughs> I'm, I'm happy I could make my, make your day. Thank you. Uh, wow. Thank you. I, I really do change my whole life. And um you know, I'm grateful, but not from the not from the space that I, I have to be. It's more like I am just I am just grateful because um, and, you know, another thing to add and and I let you go. I know you're busy, um, but um, I really love to. So what I got from you, um, Angela, from Andras, I, I I was like, I want to do this. So I'm living my life by that. And I try my best to show people that they are not wrong. And um, yeah, it's, it's really cool. It's really cool. Thank you. Mm, thank you. It's happening. <laughs> the world I've always wanted to create is actually showing up. And oh, I'm, I'm thrilled. Yay. Let's do this thing together. Let's go. Yes, let's go. Yeah. Oh man, I was. I. I can't even tell you. I. I was listening to your tour of consciousness because back then you had those series, and it was the whole different world, right? And I was listening to those series, and there are some that I know back and forth what hmm. you're gonna say, and sometimes I'm listening to them like I know what you're gonna say. <laughs> so I love it. It's so cool. It's yeah. so cool. They. They. They changed my life. 
They, it was I, because I had an accident and I was in the bed for nine months. I couldn't move. And I was like, what I'm going to do with my time? And I was scrolling Facebook and Instagram for two days. And I kind of hated myself that all the people out there have a beautiful life. They're so all happy. And I'm fucking sitting in this room for the next nine months. And I was like, no, I'm not going to do that. So I set up my day and I was busy. I was learning and doing stuff. So I was, uh, I was some... I was doing some exercises, energy exercises, blah, 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 that I learned um, on the videos. And then I was learning English. So going through all your, <laughs> all your videos on YouTube and then using translation and stuff like that. And I was like, okay, I tried to, I tried to you know, pronounce the words, but I couldn't. And I, it was so funny. It was so funny. Sometimes I was using my microphone and just uh, reading stuff from your vlog. <laughs> it was just so funny, man. Um, yeah, so it's really cool. You are a phenomenal creature, my dear. I <laughs> cannot wait to see you at the COP. <laughs> yeah, we're going to see each other in the COP. Yeah, and also in the Puerto Vallarta because I'm coming to the CF class. Um, awesome. Awesome. Thank you very much, Dane. And thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you, everyone, uh, for uh, joining us for this conversation. We're going to have um, all the recordings. We're going to send it out to you who uh, registered to the um, event today. Thank you. We're going to put this live to my YouTube and to my SoundCloud. So if you want to watch it later, you can go there in like an hour or so. We're going to put that there. And I don't know, maybe Dean will do so. I'm not sure. And, we're going to figure it mine out. Too. Okay. So I'm going to send it to the team and they're going to take care of it also. Awesome. Thank you. Oh, and I would also like to thank everybody for being here and, and contributing your energy to this. And also for the choices that you make that may not seem like that may, you may not see the result of, but you are being something that is creating a greater world for all of us. And I would just like to say thank you all for being Thank you. Thank you. And uh, we put uh, the COP class link um, in the comment section. If you couldn't find it, we're going to put it again. And yeah, thank you again for everyone. Bye for now. See you in class next week. Don't come. You, you can't. There you go. Bye-bye. <laughs>